Hi, Basti. Hi, Noodle. Hi, friends. Hi, Basti. Hi, Lauren. Hi, friends. <laughs> oh, and happy April, Noodle. Oh, uh, happy April to you too, Lauren. <laughs> What's so special about April? Well, I brought along a friend of mine to help me explain why. Cool! I love making new friends. <laughs> Noodle, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Dilly. Hi, Dilly. <laughs> Dilly, this is Noodle. Hi. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Dilly. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> oh. I think you and Dilly are going to be great friends. Oh, I sure hope so. Why did you bring Dilly over to play today, Lauren? Just because it's April? April is Autism Acceptance Month, Noodle, and Dilly is autistic. Oh, what's autistic mean? I'm not the best person to explain it. Dilly is. Dilly, want to tell Noodle all about autism? Okay. Autism means that for some people, their brains are wired a bit differently. Are some autistic people like computers then? Or TVs? Mm, not quite like that. We're not objects. I'm talking about how we experience the world. Oh, you see this prism? Oh, yeah, prism. Those are so cool. <laughs> when you look through a crystal prism in the light, you can see lots of colors, right? So many colors. It's like a mini rainbow in your hand. <laughs> yes, that's what's called a spectrum. A spectrum is a wide variety of things arranged in a sort of order, like from small to big or all the colors of a rainbow. And autism is a spectrum. I sort of get it. Explain more. Oh, you know what? Before we explain more, I'm going to change the background. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Lauren, do you want to help explain this part? Of course. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. If you put on kaleidoscope glasses and take a look right through, you can see a whole bunch of different colors red orange yellow green and blue autism is a spectrum just like a rainbow and everyone sees their own rainbow differently my mind may look at the world in our own unique ways but we are all wonderful people you and me turn it up awesome okay noodle Break it. yeah Woo! okay here we go yeah autism is a spectrum just like a rainbow Why'd you stop singing and dancing? That's kind of rude to Lauren. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dilly. Noodle, sometimes autistic people are very sensitive to things like noise or texture. Dilly doesn't like loud noises, so they put on headphones to block out the sound when it's too much. Oh, I got it. I'm sorry I said you were being rude, Dilly. It's okay. Thank you, Noodle. Can I hug you? Not too tightly, but okay. Was that okay? Yeah, I'm sensitive to touch, so I like to make sure my hugs aren't too tight. Got it. <laughs> um, what's Dilly doing with their hands? Oh, that's called stimming. Lots of autistic people stim. Sometimes they flap their hands like Dilly, does, or sometimes they rock back and forth or repeat things out loud or play with a fidget toy. Stimming is just small repeated habits autistic people do to calm themselves down or keep themselves from getting overwhelmed. That's so neat, Lauren. Dilly, 
Uh, what kinds of things do you like to talk about? Oh, lots of things. <laughs> I love learning new things and facts and trivia. My favorite animals are dinosaurs! Oh, wow! My favorite dinosaur is a T-Rex. Oh, that's so cool, Noodle. Yeah. A Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the most famous dinosaurs. Yeah. I really like the tall dinosaurs, like Apatosaurus, but Tyrannosaurus Rex is good, too. Did you know that birds are actually dinosaurs? And dinosaurs had feathers! Oh. So Tyrannosaurus Rex had feathers, <laughs> like a big giant chicken. Wow! Dilly, thanks so much for telling me. That was a lot of information all at once. Yeah. <laughs> Autistic people can have very specific topics or hobbies they like to focus all their time on because it makes them the most happy. <laughs> That's called our special interests. And when we get to talk about them with other people who might not be autistic, we like to sometimes talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> about, you know, those topics. So uh, there are also autistic people like my big sibling, Melly, that don't really like to talk at all or express themselves without words. So Melly is nonverbal. Exactly. Wow, friends, I'm learning so much about autism today. This is so neat. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Anyone can be autistic, and people with autism are just the same as anyone else. Hmm. We just experience things a bit different than others. It's kind of like a superpower. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, can we sing another song? So, if you play it, could you play it a little softer this time? Oh, of course, Dilly. You got it, friend. Hey, guess what? I think you're cool. I wish we went to the same school. Yeah. Because being around you makes me feel so great. I really learned a lot today. Everyone's different in a special way. It's something that we all can celebrate. Being different is awesome. Yeah. Especially our friends with autism. Really fun. <laughs>